Time is literally money as a freelancer and the correct tools can help you save hours of back and forth with clients. In this video, we're gonna cover four tools that can help you save a ton of time every single day as a freelancer. Let's get into it. The first tool that we're gonna talk about is instaprice.app. And by the way, all the links I'm gonna talk about are in the description, so if you guys do wanna check them out, they're right there. So instaprice.app, what does it do? Instaprice app allows you to see what you could be charging and what you could be upselling to your clients as a freelancer. It doesn't matter what service you provide, whether you're a designer, a copywriter, a developer, SEO, it doesn't even matter because they have everything. So for this example, we're gonna use something like SEO, like a content audit or SEO strategies, something like that. And if we go ahead and click on the very first one here, we can click on expand. We can see everything that we could be implementing in our proposal. So I'm gonna go ahead and add all here. And we can see that it is going to start to add in all the different things that we could be charging our clients. And we can see that it is filtered by different prices and different topics. So the first one here is conduct SEO audits, then research keyword, develop SEO strategies. And you can see that all of these are individually labeled. And the good thing about this is that it reminds you to individually label different services that you might be charging. The reason being is that you can add on to something so for example, if I was going to create a logo or if I was going to create a design system or something like that, I can create create the actual symbol, then the different colors, then maybe the typeface. So you start to separate everything. And when you do that, you can then charge more money individually per item. And as a whole bundle, you can even charge more money. We can then fine tune this to be from a specific country that you're in. So for example, here I have the United States and the US dollar, but we can change it to euros because I'm in Spain and we can see that the price starts to alter a little bit. And then we can fine tune the complexity, the deadline, the client size, things like that. So I'm just going to go ahead and make this as expensive as possible to see what we could do here. And we see that the price changes drastically. So now we're all the way up to $27,000. And we can see that the average daily rate for this kind of crazy project would be around $1,000 a day. But if we have a different daily rate that we want to add, like for example, we have a daily rate of 250 euros, we can then add that right there. And it'll change completely the entire project to a more specific price range that might fit more with our style of charging. Another thing that you can do with instant price is that you can add in suggested services like for example this one develop a brand's tone of voice we can go ahead and add that and as soon as it's done adding that it's going to suggest another service so for example write taglines we can add that as well and that's going to be an extra 500 euros and then establish unique value propositions that's another one so we can see that it starts to add in services that we wouldn't have been able to think about otherwise and this is true to all the different services that instaprice has available in their huge catalog of services here whether it's copywriting seo design doesn't doesn't really matter to be honest so i recommend that you guys use them and the link is in the description. The next tool that's gonna save you hours as a freelancer is gonna be Snapper. Now I'm not sure if it's pronounced correctly, but Snapper allows you to take screenshots of anything and it presents it in a familiar manner that you can show to your clients, to your freelance clients without having to go into Photoshop and Figma and add in a ton of extra details. So in this case, we're on my website here and I'm just gonna take a screenshot of my H1 here, my text, and we'll see that it's done a few separate things. So first off, it brings you into this dashboard where you can customize the screenshot that you just created. It'll add in a a background that you can choose. And I just picked the typical orange background that I use in every single video. We can then go ahead and add in a little bit of padding here so we can add more space or less space to our screenshot. I think we can add in a ton of padding just to showcase this. We can then add an inset so we can add, for example, padding inside the actual border of the image. So then we can add balance. And what that'll do is that it'll center your image without any extra borders on the left or right or top side. We can add some border radius, remove any shadows, get rid of some shadows, add some shadows, change the background background, but I'm going to keep it orange, change it to any of these and any more custom ones if you wanted to. And then a really cool thing that you can actually do is you can change the size of the screenshot. So you can change the ratio to be maybe perfect for Twitter, maybe perfect for Instagram. And that's not necessarily super important for freelance clients. But if you have, for example, a chat in Slack or something that might fit better for Telegram, something like that, then you can keep that in mind whenever you're creating these screenshots. Then you have redact sensitive data. So if I wanted to go ahead and take a screenshot of something that had an email in it, for example, it will automatically detect that and black it out with a black line. Then we have show watermark text or delete it. And obviously this is a paid feature, so keep that in mind, but that's something that you can do. And lastly, a really cool thing that you can do with Snapper is that you can add a shortcut so that any screenshot that you take will automatically have the settings applied to them and save to your clipboard so that you can directly paste it into Slack, into Trello, into wherever that you're 
pasting these screenshots, it'll automatically do that so that you don't have to do all this manual work every single time. The next tool that's gonna save you a ton of time as a freelancer, and in this case, a freelance designer, is gonna be CleanShot X. And what CleanShot allows you to do is specifically create a scrollable capture. So I'm just gonna drag my mouse across what I wanna cover in this case. It's my whole window here, and I'm just gonna start a capture. And what that'll do is it'll auto scroll the entire website and take one long JPEG for you to paste anywhere you want. And what we can do with this screenshot is we can either save it as a PNG, PDF, JPEG, anything like that. Click done here. And we can then either save it or just copy it directly to our clipboard. So I use this all the time when I'm comparing designs that either I've done or I've seen online. I just take one big screenshot and I paste it in Figma or I paste it in my Trello, in my Slack and whatever it is. And we can see those designs side by side. And it's really hard to take a screenshot of the entire page without having this tool. So for example, if I'm in Figma right now, I can just simply paste that and we'll see that we have my entire screenshot. I mean, the borders that I created here are a little bit off. So for example, the sizing here is one little pixel off or two, but we can see that we can create an entire screenshot of our page as a JPEG. And of course it's not perfect because some moving elements aren't gonna get captured that well. For example, like the quote here and the scrolling bar, but you can obviously adjust that as you take more and more screenshots and as you're more specific with where you're grabbing from. But this is a great tool that you can use for research as a designer. It's a great tool as a copywriter. If you wanna take a screenshot of a ton of text, maybe a huge article or something like that, and you don't necessarily wanna copy it or whatever, the case may be, this type of scrolling feature is really, really great. Set app is the sponsor of today's video. And if you guys enjoy the last two tools that I just talked about, well, then you can have access to them and plus 240 more for the price of your Netflix account, $10. So the link is in the description if you guys want to check it out for free for seven days. So let's get on to the next one. The last tool that I'm going to cover that I've covered a lot already on this channel, which cannot be missed in a freelance tools video is going to be Bonsai. Bonsai is the most essential tool that you'll ever need as a freelancer. It can help you create proposals, invoices, tasks, anything that's related to freelancing and the ton of paperwork that comes along in the freelancing world can be taken care by Bonsai. Now, this is not paid by Bonsai. It's not anything like that. I just use them so much that I'm so confident in promoting them every single time. So task tracking, accounting, forms, invoices, all of that is covered under one subscription. And I can't recommend Bonsai enough to anybody that goes into the freelancing world or anything or anyone that is struggling with so many apps. Bonsai really is a great solution for anyone that has as a freelance business. So if you guys do want to check out any of the products that I talked about in this video, the links to everything is going to be in the description. If you guys enjoyed this video and if you learned anything new from these tools, do let me know down below. And as always, guys, I will see you on the next one. Thank you so much for watching.